resting you have a hard day cutting that grass our little prince you hanging out with hops Good morning, everybody. It is Jen Crevasi at Chuckle Bates. Today is Sunday. Sunday? Yep. I think Sunday. Um, as I get things to show you pulling off the rack this morning, I'm just going to go ahead and do that because I'm in the middle of a bunch of other editing. So I wanted to show you this Dragon Pop. Hot off the drying racks. There we go. This is an order that's going to Gerald Novick. He requested the green sunfish. This is all hand painted detail. And this is on that um, Aruku pressing. From Dinger, and then we've got the Aruku Junior. So I did three for him. And then there's another little guy that's about the same weight, a little bit heavier than that Aruku Junior. These are two inch. You set that down there just over two inches and this way is uh, it go one quarter five sixteenths with gear finesse but it digs down real good that's one thing that I like about this little guy real good smaller presentation even if it's a not a tough bite day good background chrome so it's got good flash in it and on to the next set this set is a set of eight and these are bomber long A's um, this is not coming off the clear coat rack it's actually getting ready to go on the clear coat rack I get asked a lot of questions about jointed baits so I wanted to spend a little bit of time on the shop update and kind of give you a, a rundown of how I would do it. I've got, um, I'm just finishing the detail on the eyes. I used a Q-tip to put the red back on. In this traditional baby striper pattern, they had uh, red eyes and then these were clear when they started. I'll shoot another picture or show you a picture of a little bit earlier in the process. And then all of the detailing on this, let me pull this up a little closer for you guys so you can see it. That's all done with a liquid acrylic ink pen. And liquid acrylics are pretty decent. Sorry, I just jolted the camera a little bit there. Um, pretty decent, easy to work with. They're waterproof and water fast, so you can dip it in clear coat. Those colors won't fade on you. There we go. And there are six with a black back, and then the, the client asked me, to do a modification on how I would spray it. There's really not a whole lot to do when you're doing Proline repaints like these. Um, the only modification that I gave my customer was instead of a black back, I did uh, a black magenta with a pearlescence and then more pearlescence on the side instead of the silver that bomber. The bomber pattern traditionally is a silver and black pattern where it's about three quarters silver and then a slick back uh, black back on it so and then I these were all clear again I'll show you that picture and then all of this was hand detailed with a liquid acrylic ink so it's a tedious process 
but I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about that with you guys and I'll go ahead and take you off the tripod and show you the set move this out of the way for you guys Let's see if I can set this down without wrecking it screwing up my desk but all of this these were clear um, they were black clear transparent and blue top clear transparent so we went ahead and added silver along the sides and belly and black to the top of six and this little pearl black magenta plum that you see on the others so that's how they turned out they're getting ready to ship out tomorrow morning from a customer wanted to spend a couple minutes walking you around that pattern because it is a te tedious pattern when you're doing hand detailing especially with getting the fins to spec the way bomber um, pectoral fins are on their patterns so that that takes a little bit and it's two completely different um, tips on this i'm using two ink pens one is thicker than the other um, the thicker one is going to be doing these lines and the gill plate and the exterior lines on the pectoral fin and then my ultra fine point is going to be doing the dot detailing on the stripes and the fin work on that pectoral fin. So this is me adding detail back into a repaint for a customer. I normally don't get this detailed with acrylic pens. But this is a um, it's a repeat customer of mine and he's asked for a copy of the striper pattern on these bomber long A's that he can no longer find so the blanks basically they're starting out clean like this uh, and then I'm adding the striper pattern detail back in to the bait so the striper pattern on the bomber long A's is a series of, I'll show this to the camera here, it's a series of three dotted lines and the easiest way to do it is to start with the medial line, the med I'm sorry, the median line and work that in and then everything else is a match for how bomber draws on their gill plates. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. It is a very tedious long and drawn out process and the customer requested that uh, six of them look exactly or close to exactly like the bombers do and they started out as a different uh, they're clear pretty much they started out as a different bait but basically all i've done is uh, i've put the the silver and some pearl on the on the sides and belly and then the traditional black right there. Uh, he also is a total of eight pieces and he asked for me to do two in a color pattern that I would want to see a striper in. And pretty much the only modification that I like to make in my striper patterns is that I'm gonna put just a little bit of very light, like a sky blue. You can see that sky blue there. And then I'll do a pearlescent and filter that with a very reduced spray of black magenta because if you're looking at a striper coming through the water, especially juvies, um, they have a little bit more iridescent flash and pop to them than the older silver washed out males and larger female fish do. So they usually get like a bleached white with the, with the lines through and obviously the stripers don't have broken lines like the hybrid but this is the way the bomber pattern is or was. Um, to be honest, I'm not even sure if it's a discontinued pattern, but um, it's what the client has requested. So that's what I'm giving him. And that's what we've got. So let me give you one more close up look at what we're doing with that or what I'm doing with it. And it's basically a, a acrylic liquid ink, but in my case, all I need to do is use my Univol, Univol Vision Elites they are um, this is a fatter one that i'm doing the dots and most of the gill plate work with and then this is a lighter one uh, a finer one and that's what i'm doing like all of the 
interior all of the fin so that's what i'm doing today and i got a bunch more to do so let me get back to it so that's what that's all about and then uh, the last two we're going to do on this update for sunday is this trout should have enough light to show it off this is a rainbow trout and this is a bass pro shops xps and it's a gill through so those gills are flared out and you can see it's got a little hole there this has already been clear coated and done and uh, it's a dip a lot of people ask me how i dip it without sealing accidentally sealing up the gill through stuff and all i'm doing there is i'm taking a paper clip and i'm running it through the back ends here and running a paper clip through here and what that does is that allows the it breaks up the epoxy and allows that to drain safely down the sides it doesn't get inside of the bait and then we've got a vmc assortment of hooks on this and then get you close and personal with those eyes these are those real eyes from lure parts online i've been getting a lot of questions lately on where i'm getting my eyes um, I guess that there's some custom stuff going on that's backed up work. Um, so if you are looking for decent eyes and not necessarily the run-of-the-mill stuff that you can get from Tackle Warehouse, I tell you, I went to Bass Pro early, early this morning. And if you go to their trout fishing section in their dub stuff and, and their uh, building, you can pick up, there's three different colors that these dragon eyes come in. This is from Bass Pro. Um, you can pick up the green, which is my favorite. These are pretty cool. They're not super detailed, but they're definitely unique and they're definitely different. These are six millimeter, which is a standard. This is their oceanic color. They also have a yellow eye with a black pupil and, a, and an orange eye with a black pupil. Uh, I already have the other two colors, so I picked up a couple packs of these. I think they're like $4.99 a piece on these, so $5 on those. There we go. And I think there's 20 eyes, so you get 10 baits per set. And then we'll bring this back into the light. This is a different kind of wake bait. This is that Livingston blank that Schultz has got. And it's not the circuit board bill, which I like. And I've done a lot of testing on this before I make any kind of purchases. I'm, I always might at least tank test it and run it. But this has been tested... Um, a little more extensively the bill holds up really well it's weighted well swims good flares out in the back which is kind of cool um so I, I definitely dig that and then this is my my classic green sunfish pattern and this has got uh, living eyes fish skulls living eyes this is their wind color and the wind color is probably my favorite they they have earth sky ice and uh fire or earth wind ice and fire sorry and this is the wind it has just enough orange and red in those eyes that it really mimics those gills perfectly sunfish and gill i love the wind eyes for that so if you guys are looking for some stuff i, I know that the the local custom guys that do all the really unique stuff like jetson and dead meat they're running behind schedule they've been swamped lately so i don't think they're taking orders right now i'm not 100 percent sure on dead meat customs but i'm almost 100 percent sure that jetson is not taking orders currently so if you guys are looking for um you know what if you just look at the description below in all of my videos i'd tell you exactly where i get my eyes from so give that a look that's all the news that's fit to print thank you guys so much for hanging out we've got a spray session coming up tomorrow 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 and uh, it's going to be a good one for you i've gotten a couple of requests so i have taken those to heart so you guys are going to have some fun 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 hopefully with this pattern um if you guys are asking a lot of questions about this pattern the sunfish i've already done this on a youtube video so if you go back and look for my mystery tackle box sprays this was the spray for the bagley uh, it's a medium diver and it started out as just like a yellow and black pattern but um, I, I repainted and I did some pretty decent close-up stuff for you guys on this particular pattern so go check that out I'll link that in the description below as well you guys have a fantastic rest of your weekend and happy casting I'll see you on the water